Do you want to get into strength training, but you're having trouble with just basic movement and coordination? Let's help with that. Hey, it's Cameron with the At The Strength Shop. We are back with another video. It's come to my attention from watching some of our athletes and other athletes that have reached out to me that you might want to get in strength training, specifically barbell training, but you lack the body awareness to actually move yourself through space, much less another object. And this is because the brain has forgotten how to talk to the body. Specifically, it's generally going to be the hips and the shoulders that are the big problem. We're going to see if we can fix that. Uh, over the years, I have learned a variety of exercises that'll help get your brain talking to your body again. And we have taken people from a completely sedentary lifestyle to being able to safely squat, bench, deadlift, and overhead press again. So if this sounds like you, please like this video. What I also want you to do is just go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out a lot. Let's get to the video. Okay, so we start from the top and we're going to work our way down. We're just going to start with a simple head tilt. Don't overthink it. Just try to get your ear close to your shoulder. Then we add a layer of complication. We actually pivot at the nose. So your chin's going one direction, your head and the rest of your head's going in the other direction. Now arms out, try to keep them parallel to the ground, shoulders pinned back, and we're just gonna make some small circles. Then the circles get bigger, and then we turn the hands over, and we make the circles go backwards. Fingers at the ears, try to get the elbows close together and then bring them back as far as possible. Last one for the shoulders. We're going from internal to external rotation, rotating that shoulder around as much as we can. At first do it one arm at a time, but once you feel comfortable with it, you can alternate arms and just go back and forth. Now we're going to focus on the hips. These are called hip cars. You're going to bring your knee up as far as you can, then out as far as you can, and then you're going to try to rotate. The goal to this is to keep the hips square and move to the outer limits of your movement. Do five to 10 per side. Repeat as necessary. These are difficult no matter what skill level you are. Now let's figure out how to talk to the butt. You're just gonna lay on the ground on your back, feet planted at about 45 degrees, and you're just going to squeeze your glutes up, try to make a straight line between your knees and your shins. As you get comfortable with that, you're going to tilt the hips and try to just touch the butt. This is going to be a similar position to our deadlift or our squat, so we know actually how to tilt the hips. Once you do that a few times, extra layer of complication. You're going to just touch the butt, squeeze up, and then you're going to try to roll down the spine and squeeze up again. And just alternate that as necessary. So if you watch the mobility video, you'll know how important it is to get into a nice deep squat, but if you don't have that mobility and a kettlebell's not cutting it, you can hold on to a squat rack or a door frame to keep from falling backwards. This is going to help build up the strength in your core, your hips, your knees, everything you need to eventually get to where you can get into a nice deep squat. If you work yourself out, Try to mimic that position and eventually you'll just be able to let go and sit just like this. So now let's get in some rep work. You're going to grab a box. You're going to grab a resistance band. You're going to anchor it high and you're going to use that to help maintain a good position and help you to get back up. If you can't squat onto a low box like I am, just do the best you can. Grab a higher box. You want to squat as deep as you can without your hips tucking underneath you. 
And now for some push-ups. So I stole this from Chip Conrad, but you're going to grab the bar and you're going to pretend there is an imaginary troll living in your armpit. And you are actually going to squish that troll. View from the side, you'll notice the body is moving in a straight line all together. As these become easy, when you get to like the 10 to 12 range, you just move the bar down. You can also do this on a box, your couch, whatever you have. Tried and true classic band pull apart. So it's just going to strengthen those muscles in the upper back, which if you're watching this video, those are probably weak. Or you know somebody who's they weak. And I thought I was in frame the whole way for this, but it is what it is. This is a hollow plank progression. You're going to start by just pointing where the wall meets the ceiling. Next, you're going to do a leg raise six inches. And eventually you're able to work both of those together. This is getting the shoulders and the hips talking to each other, which is a very underrated skill. So that's it for the video. If you like this video, if you found value in it, please like it and subscribe to the channel. What I'd like you to do is go ahead and share this with the person that you think that this will help the most. It really helps us out a lot as well. If you're in the Baton Rouge area, we'd love to meet you. Please shoot me a DM on Instagram. Let's make that happen. If you aren't in the Baton Rouge area and still want to support us, best way to do that is head to the website. We've got a lot of really good apparel options out there. And we have some programming options as well. So until next time, keep that tight.